Hello and welcome to the video tour of 179 Sunrise Street in Murphy, North Carolina. I am standing in beautiful downtown Murphy, North Carolina with probably the prettiest home downtown of anyone around. And we're going to walk through, see what it's like to look at this home firsthand without actually being there. And remember, we don't do any fancy editing or anything in our video walkthroughs. We just show you exactly like it is so you can see it firsthand. And if you're interested in this home, please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can message us, email us, or call us. Our toll free number is easy it's 1 866 Murphy NC. This home is incredible. It was actually built by one of the best craftsman style builders in the area for his own personal residence. So there's a lot of attention to detail that I'm going to go through and show you because I really want you to get a good feel for what it's like to be here in person. So let's check out some of these details. And if you have questions from the tour, let us know. That's what we're here to do is to help you find your perfect home and help you buy it. So let's check it out right now. All right, as we walk up to the side, you can see the double car detached garage has a door leading right to the home. You've got two bay doors. It's a little bit oversized, so you've got room for your shop. It's got a concrete driveway to the, to the paved city road, and you're only moments away from Conahita Park, the gym. Literally, you can roll on a bicycle and probably not even have to pedal to see it. There's a nice deck just down below and if you'll notice the siding on this home is hardy board siding so it's extremely low maintenance and it's got a really beautiful brick veneer to decorate the sides as well stepping up onto the porch is where you really start to see a lot of differences on how this home is built Just the balusters alone have cast iron detail that you don't see in most any home. As we look up on the porch, you'll really see the, the craftsman style details. It's got large timbers. And you're going to see the pegs that are in there to look how it holds it up. I mean, it's just a lot of attention to detail here. Now let's go inside. First thing you step in and see is the wood burning fireplace that stretches all the way to the ceiling. You've got metal balusters upstairs, vaulted wood ceiling. You can see the loft. And the whole room has beautiful hardwood floors. And there's no furniture in here, so you may hear a little bit of echo as we go through here. But the kitchen is one of my favorite spots. You've got granite countertops, stainless steel appliance, new dishwasher, really neat sink, awesome cabinetry. Just look at the knobs. You'll notice the previous dishwasher. Now this home is really set up for outdoor living. Walking outside, you'll see the screened-in porch. Two ceiling fans. I love the color scheme on this home. Thank you. 
Now there's two bedrooms on the main level. Your first door you come to takes you down to the stair uh, to the basement, but we'll go down there last. First door to your left is the bathroom. It has a tile hardwood floor. Next is a bedroom. Got a nice closet. Across is another bedroom, almost identical. And usually I try and keep these under 10 minutes, but I will caution you, this home has a lot of things that I want to point out to you. So it may take a little bit longer. Now check out the pantry area. This is a really great pantry right off the kitchen. It is set up to be a washer and dryer closet. So if you want to do a washer and dryer on the main level, you certainly can do so. Now I definitely want you to check out these doorknobs. I think these doorknobs are so cool. It's got a faux key handle or a keyhole there, but they're just a really beautiful, elegant door handle. Now let's go upstairs and check out the master suite and the loft. Notice they did put in stairwell lighting. It's got hardwood treads. Got its own zone for heating and air up here. Now we walk into the master. Got a nice dormer here to give you extra light. I definitely want you to see this huge walk-in closet. It is enormous. Check this out. I think the ladies will appreciate this. You've got lots of shelving to the right hand side. Lots of rails and more shelving on the left hand side. It really does give you a lot of space here. Now let's check out this master. This is cool. You come in, it's got a huge slate tile shower. It's got on the top here, let's see if I can get you a pan of that. Dual rain showers. And those of you ladies who have to shave your legs, it's got a nice bench built right in with a glass door enclosure. If you're like my wife and love a really nice bathtub, you've got a jetted tub here. And last but not least, you've got a really Nice double vanity. All right. Now, let me show you the basement. There's some really cool features in the basement you're gonna like. It's got hardwood treads going down to the basement so it doesn't feel basementy down here at all. It feels like part of the home. You've got slate tile floors. You've got another um, fireplace, wood burning fireplace upstairs as well, or excuse me, in the basement as well. Wet bar in the corner, entertainment space, 
Of course, a flat screen on the wall, what basement would not be complete without a flat screen? You've got lots of natural light down here because it is a daylight basement with its own deck. If you remember the screened in deck upstairs, this one is just like that. So you've got more space down here. So if you wanted to use this for like an in-law setup or something of that nature, it certainly would be able to be done because they've got their own whole living area down here. There's a better view of the deck. Here's your wet bar, complete with wine rack and everything. The owner did set it up so that way there was a separate laundry room downstairs as well. And if you remember, you can use the one up or down or set it up with dual. And the cabinets down here have the same beautiful attention to detail. Excuse me. Beautiful bathroom with tile floors. Now this is a four bedroom home. Here's your fourth bedroom. And here you're in for a treat. Yes, that's a shower connected to the sauna. It actually has a full sauna. Here are your sauna controls. Nice storage area under the pantry, or under the stairwell. That's just a piece of sheet plastic in the corner I didn't get up. Ignore that. Here's your heat unit. And there you have it. In less than 15 minutes, you've seen one of the prettiest homes in all of downtown Murphy. If this looks like it's something for you, please let us know because you're going to be really surprised when you see how much detail there is in person because honestly, only the camera shows a little bit of the detail. Your eyes and perception will show so much more. So if this is something you like, let us know. My name is John Poltrock with the Poltrock team at Remax, and if you'll let us know what we can do for you, my team and I will take excellent care of you. We thank you for choosing the Poltrock team, Murphy's number one real estate team. Take care and have a wonderful week.